In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take data from the sensor, save it to the SD card referenced by your real time clock. All right, so looking at the code, you can see that we've got four libraries. Now, this one here is for the real time clock. Uh, link in the description for uh, the GitHub page for this one. These ones are pretty freely available from uh, the managed libraries. You just got to define some stuff, the chip select pin, which is actually the standard chip select pin for the Arduino Mega, but you could put in whatever pin number you want. Now we've got the type of temperature sensor it is, or temperature and humidity sensor, and what pin it's connected to. All right, so we have to uh, set up the DHT, so the temperature sensor. We also have to set up the real-time clock, and then this float here is for storing the update time, which we'll see in a sec. All right, so in the setup, you can see I've started the serial port, and then I'm just printing booting. All right, now this first line here, which is commented out right now, and I'll show you in a sec how this works, you have to set the time, so the, uh, the date, the time, and the, the day of the week. Begin the sensor for the temperature. Now I check to see if the SD card's there. If it's not, it um, prints out failed. If it does, it prints out initialized. Now be careful, uh, depending on what uh, SD card that you put in it, uh, there's like a file size limitation that comes into, and that's the uh, how it's formatted. But you can only, you know, I think it's four gig or something per file that you can fit on there, in the loop. So let's just set this out, because that was just in there. Okay, so, string for the SD card, then I'm checking the time, and then I'm recording what second it was. Now, if the second's not the same as it was before, this is so it only adds one line per second, all right, it's going to, it creates a string of the time, then it reads the humidity and the, temp uh, humidity and the temperature, it turns those floats in strings, then it makes a bigger string with all of them together. And then it prints it to me, it tells me what it is, it prints it to the serial monitor, uh, and then it adds it to the file. Now the file on the SD card is gonna be called datalog.txt. So how this works is if the file's available, open the file up, print in, then close the file, and then move on. Then it saves the old second as a new second and starts again. So each time it comes past, it checks what the old second was. So if the new second doesn't equal the old second, add this code in. Otherwise it doesn't. So that that stops it. That may, stops it from just printing or you know dumping onto the card every reading. Unless that's what you want. Uh, but you could even you know you could make it on days, hours, um, you know whatever your imagination is. Now the first time you want to upload this you need to set the time. Now to set the time, the best way I found was I brought up a website with the seconds in it. Now I'm gonna set it based on this. And you can get, you know, reasonably close, depending on how much patience you've got, of course. All right, so we're gonna have the zero seconds, we're gonna have, so this is for minutes, this is minutes here, so we're gonna say, uh, I'm gonna to have to say 15, because I'm not gonna make it the window. Oh. See, stuff like that. 15. 15, because it's in 24. All right, so then that's the days of the week. So it's still the same from when I said it before, and it's still the same date. All right. So what I wait for is for this to get to 10 to, and then I upload. So 10 seconds to, I'll let it go. Go. So now I'm uploading. So hopefully this finishes about the same time as that. Gets there. Yep, so. Then I comment out the line, and then I do it again. The reason why is because if you leave this in the center, it'll make it that time every time the code runs. Now it's done, if I have a look, I'll bring the thing up. 19, 20, 21, 22. So it's, a, it's what, half a second out. It's not too bad, that's reasonably close. 
like I said, how much patience you got. Okay, now let's have a look what's saved to the SD card. Get the SD card out. Data log. There you go, from before. Let's look at now. There you go. So you can see every second it's been adding in.